today's top stories. Iran reiterated today that it is cooperating with the International Atomic Energy Agency, a day after the nuclear watchdog said that it did not believe Tehran had deliberately understated the amount of uranium it has enriched. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hassan Kashkavi told reporters, quote, Nothing is concealed. We are cooperating within the context of the MPT, and everything is transparent and exact. He added, quote, Iran's peaceful nuclear activities are continuing according to plans, and these activities are under the agency's control within the framework of the NPT and safeguards. On Sunday, the IAEA said the Islamic Republic was cooperating to ensure that it does not again underreport the amount of uranium it has enriched. After the agency reported last week that Iran's stockpile of low-enriched uranium had increased significantly since November 2008 to 1,010 kilograms. The Six Nation Gulf Cooperation Council yesterday urged Iran to refrain from what it called hostile statements against the sovereignty of Bahrain. Hojatollah Islam Ali Akbar Natak Nori, head of the Iranian Supreme Leader's Inspection Office, was reported as saying earlier this month that Bahrain was at one time Iran's 14th province. Iran's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Kashkabi today reiterated that Naktak Nori's remarks had been misinterpreted and that relations between the two countries are being pursued on the basis of mutual interests. The remarks which have drawn protests in Bahrain have threatened to stop a gas deal that would have provided Bahrain with 1 billion cubic feet of natural gas per year from Iran. Iran's Foreign Minister Motaki yesterday urged Pakistan to crack down on militants and rebel groups which operate along the Iran-Pakistan border. Motaki said during a meeting with Pakistan's ambassador to Tehran, quote, A serious confrontation is required against lawless elements and the enemies of relations between the friendly countries of Iran and Pakistan. Iran's southeastern province of Sistan, Baluchistan, which borders Afghanistan and Pakistan, has witnessed an increase in clashes between Iranian security forces and drug smugglers in the Pakistani-based Sunni rebel group, Jandala. The Iranian foreign minister also urged Islamabad to increase its efforts to ensure the release of kidnapped Iranian diplomat Heshmatollah Atazadeh Nayaki, who was kidnapped in Pakistan's northwestern city of Peshawar in November 2008. These stories and more at iranvnc.com.